Good morning, good afternoon to all of you from Colombo, Sri Lanka. Welcome to the DHS2 Level 1 Online Digital Analytic Source Academy 2020. This academy is organized by His Sri Lanka in collaboration of the University of Oslo. This Asian Regional Academy is also supported by His Pindia. It is such a delight to see this academy attended by a record number of 48 participants from 18 countries ranging from Nigeria in Western Central Africa to all the way into Tonga in Far East Asia Pacific region. With the pool of facilitators, we have an audience representing 21 countries. The DHS2 Digital Analytic Tools Academy intends to provide a fine mix of principles in DHIS2, key concepts in information use, monitoring and evaluation in the context of public health and the tools in the HIS2 to support this. Through lectures, hands-on exercises, and discussions with peers, the participants will be well equipped to enhance the use of the HIS2 in their daily work. Before moving on to the items in the agenda, let me invite a special person to formally welcome the audience. It is my privilege to invite Dr. Pandura Siribadana, who is the director of HISP Sri Lanka and also a senior lecturer in medical education at the Postgraduate Institute of Medicine at the University of Colombo to welcome everyone. Thanks, Pamud, for the introduction. Hope everyone can hear me. Yeah, Pamud, you can hear me. Yes, we can hear you. Right. So welcome, everyone. Uh, I'm so glad to be here, to be virtually addressing every one of you. And, um, and uh, the COVID may have uh, prevented us from gathering physically in Sri Lanka doing this workshop, similar to what we did last year. But I think it has allowed us to reach more and uh, to gather more people. Um, and benefit more uh, in terms of uh, the knowledge that we are disseminating through this workshop. So in a way it has uh, fittingly allowed us to reach the goals that his network um, also believes largely. So um, uh, the analytics workshop, as you are all aware, is one of the key workshops in the DHIS2 um, and his calendar because uh, this is probably the uh, instance in which uh, we are focusing on uh, data for action. Uh, we have been able to so far do uh, several of these workshops, both locally and internationally, and uh, with the support of other partners um, who are also uh, here. And the importance of this workshop is um, uh, is uh, with regard to in many of the health settings, you all know that we may have tools and we may have the data, but unless you have the right tools and the mechanics of uh, analyzing these data and providing the information necessary for decision making, that uh, gathering of data and the amount of data that you have will not have much of an advantage, give much of an advantage to an health system. So the analytics within DHIS2 is very powerful in terms of providing that decision support, but it all will depend on how well we organize, how well we represent these information and provide it to the final decision makers. So this workshop with the inputs from um, uh, a, a very conversant panel of experts will provide all of you with that particular input. So I will not um, uh, uh, go on and on describing the importance of this workshop as many of you are well aware of, of, the, of the said purpose. So with that, I would like to welcome you all once again, and I would like to also welcome um, the resource persons. Thank you very much for your contributions. Um, we have the uh, resource persons from Sri Lanka as well as from Ms. Vinya and as well as from colleagues from Oslo uh, taking part and supporting this particular event. So on behalf of the HISP Sri Lanka, I would like to welcome again 
and wish you all the very best in this virtual uh, data analytics workshop. Over to you, Pango. Right, thank you so much, uh, Dr. Pandula, uh, for that uh, welcome introduction. Right, so uh, you can already see that we have 43 participants uh, now online and facilitators. And uh, we will now move on to introduction of participants. So we have uh, participants from all together 18 countries. Uh, so let us have a round of introductions. So what we will do is uh, all the participants here, uh, we will go uh, in an alphabetical order by countries. Uh, so what we are expecting you to do is to briefly introduce, uh, I mean, you can mention your name and where you're from and uh, what is the organization you will be representing and also what is your objective in attending this uh, Analytics Tools Academy. So this is what we are expecting. So it's a, just a brief introduction. So uh, we will go by alphabetical order and we will start uh, with Australia. So uh, we have Georgia from Australia here. If you're there, please unmute yourself and uh, introduce. Georgia, are you there? Right, so uh, next we have Botswana. <coughs> Participant from Botswana. <coughs> so please unmute yourself and you can proceed. Uh, right. Uh, Next, we have uh, Ethiopia. Good morning, Pamot. I'm Good morning, Jarrabha. we can hear you. I'm Jarrabha from Ethiopia. I work for Amlef Health Africa, an international NGO, uh, headquartered in Nairobi, Kenya. I'm an immediate director, and I, I want to use data on DHS to more, and so I'm interested in, 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 uh, in the analytics academy because of that. Thank you. Thank you. Next uh, is India. Hello, hi. Uh, I am Devendra Patankar, and uh, I am working with Norway India Program Initiative in India, and uh, I will uh, uh, support uh, to for the uh, DHIS two related analysis uh, in India. Thanks. Next, we have Indonesia. Hello, good morning. Uh, can you hear my voice? Yes, loud and clear. Yeah, uh, my name is Ubaidila. I'm from Indonesia. I'm working as a data assistant. Uh, my objective to join this training is to learn more about uh, DHIS2 data analysis and also improvement for data visualization. Thank you. Um, hello everyone, I'm Jessica, yes. Jessica Herrera, um, I'm actually uh, from Panama, so I'm, I'm calling from Panama, um, but Indonesia is one of the 10 countries that I'm supporting in the implementation of DHIS2. I work for Plan International and we use it for youth employment projects. So this particular um, academy is very useful to support countries into better use the data that's being used for uh, DHIS2. Thank you. Thank you, Jessica. Out of curiosity, what's the time over there? Um, it's almost midnight. <laughs> yeah, I'm so sorry that you had to join at this time. Uh, and, and we are really grateful that you have attended at this time. Thank you. It's okay, happy to be here. Thank you. Next, we have Kenya. Do we have Josephat from Kenya? Right, uh, let us move on to the next country, Myanmar. Uh, good day, everyone. Uh, good, good morning and 
Good, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. <laughs> so uh, I'm uh, I'm Andre Main from Myanmar. Uh, you could just call me Ong. Uh, I work as an e-health project work coordinator for the Civil Children Myanmar, uh, the group of fund principal recipient team in here. So uh, regarding data and through experience, I have to manage and develop uh, the MCPIS, uh, the malaria, malaria case based reporting and surveillance, uh, which is a data science to based Android application to support uh, malaria and malaria programs in Myanmar. And right now, it's uh, using more than 3,000 volunteers across the rural areas in Myanmar. Uh, thank you all, and it's, uh, I'm, it's, it's, a, it's a pleasure to be participated in this academy. Thank you. Next, we have Nepal. Do we have anyone from Nepal? Sunita, are you there? Yeah. Good morning, good, good afternoon, and good evening. My name is Sunita. I'm from Nepal, and I'm currently doing Master in Public Health in Tribun University, University Institute of Medicine, Central Department of Public Health. The objective, of, uh, objective for this course is to learn about more about the DHIS tool, data visualization, and support others for use this DHIS tool. Thank you. Next, we have Nigeria. Yeah, good morning, everyone. Good afternoon and good evening. Um, my name is um, Taiwo Habib. I'm from Nigeria. I work for a local government primary health care department in Lagos. Um, I work as a monitoring and evaluation officer. Uh, we collect data on um, um, health service delivery from hospitals, both government and private hospitals. And um, we do data collection on DHIS2 on a routine basis. And um, my sense of joining the this webinar is to improve my um, data analytic skills and also um, build capacity on the use of DHIS2 to, to improve data analytics. Thank you for being here. Next, we have Papua New Guinea. Hey, hi, hi everyone. Um, my name is uh, Poron Temu. Um, I'm an emergency physician uh, currently working with the U.S. Centers for Disease Control and Prevention. I serve as the uh, health informatics and e-health advisor uh, to the country. Um, I'm supporting the uh, National Department of Health um, in its implementation of uh, various health information systems. Um, and one of those is, is one of the projects currently is to look at uh, fully revamping our uh, data warehousing. Um, and so DHIS2 is one potential option. Um, so hoping to see um, what the analytics platform um, offers, um, and then also uh, just a bit about uh, deployment strategies. Um, so I'm um, glad to be here and uh, looking forward to the, the training. Over. Thank you. Next, we have Philippines. So, uh, I can use the same link that was sent in the email and make the payment. No, this text can be okay, right? Oh, that's true. Okay, right. So, okay, Do we have uh, Benjamin or Phoebe Hi. there? Yes, I'm here. Yes, I'm Benjamin. Uh, hello, everyone. Um, I'm a data manager at Nagasaki University uh, in Japan, so I'm currently calling from France and we are planning um, a data collection, uh, a study, a multi-site study in the Philippines mostly, and we're planning to use uh, DHIS2 to, to collect and aggregate it to, well, to manage all the, the data we're going to collect. So I want to learn more about, well, data management and mostly analysis and quality monitoring using DHIS2. Hello everyone. Yes. Hello everyone. My name is Febby. I am the data management personnel for a five-year family planning and a six-month COVID-19 response project in the Philippines that is funded by the United States Agency for International De Development. I would like to have a thorough understanding of the visualization mechanisms as well as the data monitoring tools within the DHIS2. Thank you and nice to meet everyone. Thank you. Next, we have uh, the majority of participants joining from Sri Lanka. So um, we can go by the order, order in, uh, of names that are appearing here. Um, uh, yes. Yeah. Uh, uh, hello, I am uh, 
good, good morning. I am Anuradha from Sri Lanka. I am attached to the Family Health Bureau in Sri Lanka, and the Family Health Bureau has implemented uh, the uh, biggest uh, public health system based on DHS2 called ERHMIS, and I am uh, I am a member of it. Thank you. Anuradha, are you there? Anuruddha, if you're there, if you can uh, unmute yourself. All right, sorry. Uh, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, everyone. Yeah, I am from Sri Lanka. Um, I am a medical doctor attached to the National STD AIDS Control Program, where our uh, information management system is now uh, uh, based on DHS2 uh, system. So uh, it will be important for me to study the system more, uh, which will uh, help the uh, program. Thank you. Uh, hello everyone, I'm Dr. Ashanti Unugala. I'm a medical doctor and a postgraduate student studying health informatics and uh, public health. Uh, and I was involved in uh, DHIS2 based system development and uh, implementation. Uh, thank you. Do we have the people? Yeah. Or do we have Everybody, yeah. Oh, sorry, I, I think I missed sorry, Jamika. Yes. Hello, everyone. Good morning. Good afternoon. It's Jamika, sorry. Yes. Uh, I'm Jamika. I'm a medical doctor and uh, I'm a postgraduate trainee in biomedical informatics. Uh, I'm attached to Health Information Unit at uh, Ministry of Health Sri Lanka. Uh, I'm interested in learning more on analytics tools and on DHS. Thank you. Thank you, Shamika. Next, we have Deepal. Yeah, I'm Dr. Deepal Jesuria, uh, one of the uh, senior registrar under health informatics category, uh, currently attached to the Family Health Bureau. I have past experience working with the NCD data. Uh, that's all. Janaka? Yeah, I'm uh, Dr. Janaka. I'm not there. Uh, currently working at uh, National Hospital of Sri Lanka. I uh, have done several developments on DHS to base uh, uh, development and as well as implementation. My main uh, target is to sort of uh, develop new modules to uh, end user. So base of uh, that is the main objective because end users are having a lot of problems when they start uh, using the system. So we have to be a little bit of thorough on how to use the data analytic part. Uh, that is my main objective. Thank you. Prabhadini? Uh, good morning, everyone. I'm Prabhadini from Sri Lanka. Uh, I'm postgraduate trainee in uh, biomedical informatics. Uh, currently, I'm attached to provincial director's office at Western Province. Uh, we are planning to design a dashboard for a provincial director these days. That's the main reason to join the academy. Thank you. Gayan? Yeah. Good morning. Good evening, everyone. I am Gayan. I'm uh, a health information attached to the National uh, Malaria Control Program in Sri Lanka. And currently, we have tracker-based DHS2 implement uh, system to collect the case-based data. And my main objective is like learn how to analyze those data because we had last three four years individual level data and teach them to the our uh, our uh, uh, that other technical officers working in the area control program. Thank you. Yes, uh, Hasita, are you there? Hello there. Uh, I'm Hasita here. I'm a biomedical informatics trainee at the moment attached to a epidemiology unit of Sri Lanka. Uh, now uh, there are some few systems uh, based on DHIS2 running here and a large amount of data are coming. The next step is how to analyze data and make use of it. I think uh, these sessions are helpful for me to uh, address those issues. Thank you. Thank you, Jayatri. Hi, I'm Jayatri. 
Thank you. Come on, are you there? Uh -huh. Hello. Yes, come on. Ah, uh, yes. Uh, good day for everyone. And uh, my name is uh, Kamal Singh Ratna. I'm a uh, OSMG trainee uh, uh, in health yes, informatics yes, attached yes. to Lady Ridgeway Hospital for Children. And I would like to learn more about the VHS2 and uh, the analytics tools. Uh, thank you. Kusal? Hi, I'm Kusal Lijayira. I'm a health informatician. I'm currently working in the information of the Minister of Health. Uh, we are involved in developing additional support dashboards for the senior leaders of the Minister of Health. So I'm looking uh, how we can uh, use VHS2 for this purpose. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, I'm Lahir Rajakaruna, a registrar in uh, Health Informatics, currently attached to the Epidemiology Unit uh, Sri Lanka. Uh, I would like to strengthen the DHS systems by gaining more knowledge regarding the analytics tools and data quality applications. Thank you. Mudita? Uh, hi, uh, I'm uh, Mudita uh, from Health Information Unit, uh, Ministry of Health, uh, Sri Lanka. And uh, we are dealing with a uh, lot of implementation in uh, DHIS2, and I would like to learn more on analytics of DHIS2. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Uh, Nurul? Thank you. Uh, Hello, everyone. Can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you. Yeah, uh, I'm uh, Dr. Ikram. I'm uh, currently attached to anti-malaria campaign and I'm working with Dr. Gayan at the moment. And uh, I'm currently developing an entomological surveillance system for anti-malaria campaign. And for the analytics part, I'm very interested in learning about analytic paths because it deals with uh, vector uh, indicators and analysis. Thank you. Thank you, Prabhat. Uh, I am attached to uh, Cancer Hospital Maharagama. I am a health informatics uh, trainee uh, and uh, I have involved with uh, several DHIS2 implementations. So I would like to learn about analytics tools uh, to, more, to learn more about uh, uh, analyze, uh, analysis. So that's, that's why I joined. Thank you. Thank you. Rasita? Uh, I am Rasita. I'm a medical officer in health informatics who is uh, currently attached to epidemiology uh, unit of Sri Lanka. And I would like to improve my DHS2 knowledge by participating into this workshop. Thank you, Ravi. Ravi, please unmute yourself and uh, you can introduce yourself. Uh, until Ravi sorts out uh, his uh, audio problem, shall we move on to Shakira? Are you there? Yeah, yeah. Hello, everyone. Uh, I'm Shakira from Sri Lanka, um, a medical doctor and a postgraduate trainee in biomedical informatics. Uh, I'm currently attached to Family Health Bureau under the Ministry of Health. Uh, here we are running an electronic reproductive health management information system, which is based on DHIS2 to capture maternal and child health data. I'm looking forward to follow this course to build up my competencies in analytics tools and help the end users to analyze their data so that uh, they can make use of the information in a more efficient manner. Thank you. Thank you, Shakira. Uh, can we take uh, Ravi? Ravi, are you there? Right. Uh, if not, let us move on to the next. Shalika? Hello. Yes, Shalika, we can hear you. Hello, everyone. I'm Shalika from uh, Sri Lanka. I'm attached to Ministry of Health and I'm a health informatician. Uh, my objective is to learn about uh, analytics tools in DHIS2 because I'm going to implement a pregnancy registry for epileptic mothers all over the country. Uh, for that, I need uh, data analysis to learn more about data analysis. Thank you. 
Thank you. Satish, are you there? Satish? All right. Uh, we'll move on to the next person. It's Vedika. Vedika? Okay, um, since he's also having issues, uh, Vedika, are you there? No. Okay, um, Chaturan, is Hello, hello everybody. Uh, I'm Dr. Chaturanga, uh, currently attached to uh, National Blood Transfusion Service Sri Lanka. Uh, actually, I have implemented several uh, systems using DHIS2. Uh, I, 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 I'm hoping uh, to learn more about analytic tools today. Thank you. Thank you. Ruan? Hello, I'm uh, Ruan Pereira. I'm also a postgraduate trainee in health informatics. Uh, I have involved with some DHS uh, to development like uh, National TB Registry. Uh, I'm keen on uh, learning more about the analytics tools. Thank you. Thank you. Siad? Uh, hello, everybody. I'm Dr. Siad, a senior registrar in health informatics, currently attached to National Cancer Institute. Earlier, I have worked in STD AIDS control program, Sri Lanka, where there is an electronic system implemented. We are planning to do uh, connect the DHS2 part for the analytics. Also, I am involving in the Sri Lanka Stroke Clinical Registry. We already implemented that system, but that was not working properly. So we are planning to move the system into DHS2. So I'm very keen to study this analytics part. Thank you, Siad. Uh, let us now again um, call a few names who could not introduce in our first round. Uh, do we have Satish now? Satish, if you're there, uh, you can unmute yourself and briefly introduce. Uh, hello, uh, can you hear me? Yes, Satish. Yeah, I am uh, Dr. Satish uh, from uh, uh, teaching hospital Japna. I am working as a MO health informatics here. Uh, I was involved. I am involved in this uh, implementation of uh, hospital information management system. Uh, at the same time, uh, you know, we have the uh, other uh, surveillance and other systems are there, uh, which are in the uh, DHIS2 platform. So I just want to learn this uh, analytical uh, module and uh, somewhat uh, get used to that so I can use it this in my future encounters. Thank you, Satish. Uh, do we have Ravi and Vedika now? Vedika, Ravi, any one of you there? Right. Um, if so, did I miss uh, any of the names of Sri Lankan participants? Because it's a huge list. If there are any Sri Lankan participants I have missed out, could you please introduce yourself? Okay. So uh, next country is Syria. Hello, uh, my name is Abdul Rahman. I'm working for WHO in Turkey, responding to Syrian crisis uh, in northern Syria. Uh, I'm working uh, with uh, immunization program, uh, supporting implementation of DHIS2. My objective is to update my knowledge and learn more uh, about analytic features in DHIS2. And thank you. Thank you. Next, we have Timor Liste. Do we have Julia or Joanna here? Okay, seems they are not online. Let's move to the next country, which is Tonga. Hi. Hi. Hi, everyone. Um, so, Saya from. Yeah, from Tonga, and I'm working in this uh, IT 
officer and we're supporting DHS2 internal for the Ministry of Health uh, just to provide um, and collecting the data. And my partner Nancy, I think she can't hear anything. Is Nancy online? Yeah, she's online, but she can't hear anything. Uh, all right. Uh, could it be some yeah, audio? But, yeah, so, it's on the, the uh, other location, so uh, I'll check with her just to make sure that she'll hear uh, you guys. Okay, thank you. Um, yeah. Yes. Uh, ask her to unmute. Uh, uh, if you can please ask yeah. her to just remove herself from the call and then rejoin, because then she will okay. have an option to yeah. speak with uh, the computer yeah. audio. That is to be done yeah. to listen anything. Yeah, I'll, I'll get back to her. Okay. So, but we're happy to join uh, this course to just to learn more and get more skills. Yeah. That's all. Right, thank you. Next is Uganda. Hi, everyone. Uh, hi, my Fred. Hi, uh, my, name, my name is Fred Ruima. Uh, I basically work as the IT manager for CRS Uganda, that is Catholic Relief Services. Uh, presently, we have two projects mm -hmm. using DHIS2, and we are working uh, in partnership with the Ministry of Health. So the project basically captured data and uh, gets the data from DHIS2 um, in, in terms of analytics for decision making. I'm quite excited to be part of this uh, training. And I look forward to learn more about data analysis in DHIS2. Thank you very much. Thank you, Fred. Next, we have Yemen. Yes, uh, my name is Ibrahim Anam. I'm an uh, information management officer supporting the implementation of humanitarian tracker and uh, national Yemen uh, health system. Thank you. Do we have Arafat? No, maybe Arafat is not online right now. Okay, thank you. And finally, we have Zambia. Do we have the participant from Zambia joining? Could you please unmute yourself and speak up? We are not able to hear you. Yes, I, I, I assume if you can hear us, there is some issue with your microphone, I assume. Um, we still can't hear you. All right. Uh, until he gets his audio sorted, um, have I missed out on any of the participants? Uh, because it's a huge list of uh, 48 participants. Anyone I could not mention in the list? All right. Okay, so um, let us now move on to introduction of the facilitators because we have facilitators joining with us today from uh, four locations. Our team of facilitators comprise mainly of uh, the team members of uh, his Sri Lanka and his Pindia. And uh, let me just, uh, so le let us see whether all the facilitators are there. Okay, we will start off with uh, Achala. I'm not sure whether Achala is online. Uh, do we have Achala online? No. All right, so uh, Achala Jayatilaki is a team member of uh, HISP Sri Lanka. Uh, in addition to uh, uh, working as a trainer and an implementer uh, in HISP Sri Lanka, he is also a professor in health informatics attached to the Postgraduate Institute of Medicine, University of Colombo, uh, with wide knowledge on health informatics and public health. Uh, so it's, it's a great privilege to have him online. And currently, he's on an assignment in Timor Leste, so he'll be joining from uh, Timor Leste. Uh, to conduct the sessions. Right. Um, next is Roshan. Do we have Roshan online? 
Right. I think uh, he, he is currently at a meeting. He'll be joining online uh, maybe in one hour. So uh, introducing about Roshan. Uh, Roshan is also uh, a person uh, with a vast knowledge of implementation and the tra I mean, training experience in DHS2 for more than a decade. Um, he is also a, a senior lecturer uh, attached to the Colombo University and also a PhD holder from University of Oslo uh, with vast experience um, in uh, implementing DHS2 in so many African and Asian countries. Next, Priyanka. Yeah, hi everybody. So uh, I am Priyanka Senanayaka, a medical doctor and also qualified in health informatics and uh, involved in uh, implementing uh, DHS2 based uh, uh, information management system for maternal and child health in Sri Lanka and uh, participating as a uh, uh, resource person in this academy. So uh, welcome everybody and thank you very much. Next is Pramil. Are you there, Pramil? Uh, yes, I'm here. Hi, good morning, good evening, good afternoon, everyone. Very good morning to you. It must be a bit yeah. too early. Yeah, it's early morning. I'm actually joining from the United Kingdom. It's 6 a.m. here. I'm Pramil Yanage, a health informatician and member of the Sri Lanka team, a DHS2 trainer and an implementer, currently in the UK on a fellowship. Thank you. Next is Varun. Hi everyone, I'm Varun. Uh, I'm a biomedical scientist and a public health manager by my qualifications. And um, uh, talking about DHIS2, I've been working on implementation, data use and health system strengthening across uh, the states in India, as well as six other countries in Southeast Asia, as well as the Eastern Mediterranean. I'm happy to join this academy and looking forward to talking to all of you. Thank you so much. Thank you, Varun. Next, we have Neha. Hello, good morning, all. Uh, hi, I'm Neha Joshi. I'm working as a project coordinator with His India. Uh, I have been involved in DHS2 implementation uh, in His India from the last 10 years. I work with main, mainly with Indian states for strengthening of DHS2. And uh, my core expertise lies in the metadata uh, and uh, analytics part. Uh, I welcome all uh, the participants from all over the world uh, to this uh, academy. Thank you. Thank you, Neha. And finally, it's me. So I'm Pamod from uh, Sri Lanka. Um, so I have uh, implementation and training experience in DHIS2 over seven years, and I have been mainly working uh, with the Ministry of Health, Sri Lanka, in um, several programs, uh, especially supporting uh, the, the DHIS2 training activities. And in addition, I have also worked in few countries in uh, Asia and Africa region uh, over the past few years uh, in, in different uh, projects in uh, uh, public health. In addition, I'm also serving as a, a lecturer in health informatics at uh, Postgraduate Institute of Medicine, University of uh, Colombo. So it is uh, such a privilege to um, join as a facilitator for this academy as well. Thank you.